Listen, Linda. <laughs> Here's another thing I want to tell you guys real quick. Um, if you are, if you are a mommy that's buying a blank kit for your artist to paint, because some, some, some artists buy the kit for the collector so that it comes shipped directly to them. They can inspect it, etc., etc. They do that. But some of you guys buy the kit and ship it to your artist. Reborn kits, no problem. Silicone kits, problem. Let me let me explain. Don't have to be a problem, but it can be. It is very, 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 very tempting to want to. Mm, let me put on a diaper. Oh, let me just give it a pacifier. Uh, let me just put it on a little onesie. Let me see. Let me put it on a onesie twosie here. Let me put on a little socks and let me put on a headband. You know, you kind of want to get an idea what it's going to look like. You want to play with it. You want to hold it. Oh, look at this. It's going to be so cute. You want to pose it. Don't do that. I've seen other artists encourage collectors. Oh, it's okay if you want to powder them down and play with them for a little bit and they got to be washed off and all this is a don't do that unless you sending it to that artist if you sending it to that artist by all means play with it power it down do whatever you want to do and send it to that artist but if you sending it to another artist unless she told you or he told you that you can powder it down and play with it don't do that I honestly prefer the, the kit to come directly to me sometimes. The only reason why I like sometimes for it not to come directly to me is so that the collector can see what that kit looked like blank. What that kit looked like, um, make sure it doesn't have any rips and tears already. Um, see what that artist have to put into that baby also because I'm a collector mom we want to see the actual size of that baby you can see the actual size that way you kind of get an idea what kind of clothes this baby gonna be a fit what size the feet really is because on camera and video things can look very much different in size so that's when I like for it to go to the collector and I tell this story all the time and I'm hopefully the mommy is not offended when I tell this, but this is to help other people. I specifically say, do not play with your doll. Do not do this with your doll. I get a picture of the doll with what? A pacifier in the mouth. You wanna know what kind of pacifier it was? Latex. Latex can inhibit your silicone from curing. Now I gotta be concerned if this mouth is gonna cure if I'm gonna clean it. I gotta clean it good enough, and and sometimes even cleaning it might not even work. So it's not because it's like they're trying to be so strict or picky or blah blah blah. And yes, they gotta be clean, but you don't want it to be that situation where everything's curing this up for this one spot on the baby and you can't figure out what's going on because you've used something that that has something in it that doesn't mix with platinum silicone. I've had situations where things have that things will happen if collect when collectors use different products it don't work well with the silicone when you go back to work on that problem area, it may not cure properly or do what it needs to do. And then it goes back and then there's issues that arise in your baby that wouldn't have happened had you not initiated a problem in the curing process. That's maybe a little too much for you guys to grasp. Just know that when you get a silicone kit, do not dress it. Do not play with it. You're going to have plenty of time to dress and play with it. Do not do it. Do not do it. It's already... I've gotten silicone 
that has so much lint fuzz hair the um the color fuzz is like color of the different clothes like the pinks the blues you can see the colors the the the, the in in the thing don't do it i love the silicone pores that send me the babies and they're extra sticky already i love that i'm i'm okay with that but don't play with them i'm telling you don't do not play with your kit before you send it to the sculptor that is that is my my advice i mean the painter that is my advice that is my tip for mommies that's out here buying kits because i know silicone is becoming very popular and um people are buying kits sometimes you have to hold them until the artist is available and to paint i get that storing them I am not the one, I'm not an expert on silicone by all means, okay? I just know what I do and what works for me. And I've heard other artists and sculptors even say this and they're like, this is why I don't want to share my process because what works for me may not work for you and then there's a problem because you're like, well, Serenity said, Serenity ain't saying nothing. I'm telling you, I'll tell you, I do store mine in plastic bins. Let me see. I actually might have one right here. Let me see if I can reach it. Hold Zora. Right. I look a mess, guys, but the plastic bins. I actually use good old faithful Wally Walmart plastic bins. I will store my kits in there. And sometimes people send the kits wrapped up in, in um, plastic and all that stuff. I strip all that stuff off of them. Now, um, some people do the paper. Like it be kind of in the paper or whatever, tissue paper, or whatever type stuff. Not toilet tissue, but some type of tissue paper. I'll leave it in that. Like I'm okay with that. But like that's a ram rapid stuff and all that. I've heard sometimes that that inhibits the curing different saran wraps and all that. I don't I don't do that. I don't want you wrapping my baby head up with saran wrap, sending it to me. If you do, I pray to God that it's it's okay. But I don't I don't I don't do all these extra tactics that people come up with and putting plastic bags over their heads and all this. I don't do that. I put it in my bin and I put the lid on it and I store it until I'm ready to work on it. I have worked on uh, blanks that's over a year old, no problem. Washed them, cleaned them, prepped them properly, and no problem. I have, I don't even know how long I've been painting at this point, I'm gonna say I want to say it's been, oh, well, I know it's been over, it's been over two years with silicone. It's some people in here have been painting 15, 20 years. I am not competing with their knowledge. I am still a work in progress. I'm a work in progress. So I'm only going to gain more knowledge and learn more as I go. If I continue in this game. But that's all I can share. I am not going, I don't do painting tips. I don't share my process as far as painting go or nothing like that. I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I don't give tips and advice, but from collector to collector, I'm just telling you guys, do not be tempted to poke a pacifier in the baby mouth or put on socks or put on diapers and all that stuff. Just, just leave it. Just leave it and wait till you Get back. Look, if you got to inspect it, because a lot of the, the a lot of the sculptors say you got like three days to sculpt it. I mean, to inspect it. So, you know, check the arms. You know, look under, you know, under the armpits, the toes. Make sure the toes all there, not hanging off or nothing like that. The fingers, um, the mouth. 
you know, whatever eyes, whatever ears, you know, just look the baby over completely entirely. You know, the, the wrist, you know, I've done a little small repair on, you know, that type stuff, which happens sometimes and it's not that big of a deal. Um, that's an easy thing, but you know, you just want to look it over, take account in case I'm crazy is out of the norm you can contact the seller and get it resolved before you send it to your painter otherwise if you're sending it directly to your painter i would suggest that you ask your painter to inspect it upon arrival right away so that you can you guys can work that out and and, and get it resolved not you know oh well i haven't got to your box yet ma'am i need you to at least check it out you know what i mean so um i at least do that if somebody sends me a blank kit to paint i check their kit out right away and i open it up on camera i always video it because if i'm open that box up that's why i have the box openings of you know like baby bear when i paint a baby bear i open it up on camera because i needed that for record and it's not so much of the box open. I know you guys think you're special, but you are, but, but it's actually for my record. A lot of times when I do my box openings, I do it for real record. Uh, I mean for my record and for your entertainment, but for my record. So yeah, so inspect right away. Do not play with them. Do not dress them. Do not diaper them. Just leave them alone. Sometimes they come in diapers. I mean, it is what it is, but I'm trusting that the sculptor know what they're doing and they send it and that's fine. Um, for those, I'm not going against the grain of people because I've seen some very popular artists say that, you know, very well known and respected artists say, powder it down and play with it. I think they're trying to appease the crowd of saying you can enjoy your babies, enjoy your, your money. And I get that. And I solely stand behind it and support it of enjoying your baby. But for me, I'm better safe than sorry. I will enjoy this baby once it is fully done and completed. So I'm just going to do what I need to do as far as inspect it, look at it, open the mouth. If I need to try to see if I can, um, you know, wash your hands before you, 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 you interact with them. But if I want to see how deep the mouth is for a pacifier, I stick my finger in it. Okay, I think, okay, I know. I, 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 you know, look in it. Okay, I, this this will go be able to take a full pacifier. That's all I need. I don't got to put the pacifiers in it. I don't even, you know, when I'm painting my babies, usually if I, I'm not finished and I feel like I'm going to be tweaking something, I don't even put pacifiers in their mouth until after I'm sure that I'm done with working on the mouth, even then. That's just how it goes. You want to protect your investment these are a lot of money these 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 silicone kits are a lot of money even the cheap cheaper ones and um <clears throat> like i said i'm gonna take these in video for video but i'm gonna have another video because i want to talk about another segment of silicone because it's, it's 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 getting crazy it's getting it's getting it's getting hype out here and um I will just say this and we'll get into that a little bit deeper but for those that feel like they need to go buy cheap kits off of you know like um, the cheap kits that the sculptor is sculptors are not approving to be sold um, on these different websites Amazon and all them and stuff like that then um, or let me say, allegedly <laughs> not um, authorizing these copies or, you know, productions to be done. They're allegedly not authorizing them. Um, Bountiful Baby is now coming out with a line of a silicone that's just as cheap. So, um... My, and I'll get into that a little bit more and we'll talk about it. I need to know more about it before I can really speak on it. 
But I'm going to leave this one note here. Just period about. No, I'm, that's another video. We're going to leave that here. We're going to. I'll stick a pin in it. And we'll talk about um, affordable kits and quality and all that great jazz. And so that that's coming up. Um, I am not a quality police. Please don't prejudge what you think I'm going to say and what I just wait for it. We'll talk about it. Um, let me know if you want to, me to continue to talk about these type videos, um, type topics, and we will do that. But in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy my babies. I'm about to go to work. I got a lot going on. So I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a subscriber. Thanks for being a Lola peeping inside our window. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.